Hello and welcome to the official Sea of Thieves podcast. I'm John McMurtry, Head of Video Production here at Rare, and I am joined by a, a selection of lovely people at the table today, uh, starting with... Uh, Joni, Executive Producer. Uh, <laughs> what was that? That was I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Preston, the designer. Great, and over here? Christina. McGrath, <laughs> that's my surname, that was a struggle. don't forget it, right. it was, oh, what's that? Uh, head of community and communications. That was a large like intake of breath for, for saying your name. <laughs> so it's me and I realise I hate saying it as well. <laughs> Shelley Preston, lead designer, let's get it over with. Great. Very well done. Real quick. It's been quite a while since last podcast. Um, I can't even remember when it was, so I'll just say it was a while. So one of the things that's happened since then is that uh, we released season nine. Um, mm -hmm. That was a pretty big moment. Uh, lots of amazing features coming into the game. And I was curious, like, what, now looking back, and it's been three weeks since season nine launched, like, how do you feel that launch went? Andy, I'll start with you. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been great. Uh, there's a ton of uh, cool changes that we made for season nine. Mm -hmm. But um, I think the kind of resounding effect of it that I've seen from playing it myself and um, obviously all the kind of community impression is. It's just how alive the sandbox feels again with all the kind of players going out to all the world events and taking part in all of those activities. So it's cool that the kind of the heart of what makes Sea of Thieves special is kind of alive and kicking again uh, with season nine. And that happened to be perfect timing with the uh, anniversary update or anniversary kind of era. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an era. The era. <laughs> But it's interesting, like obviously <laughs> the the Jurassic era. Where does it fall? I tell you, it's what I feel. It's what I feel like. I've like, been having a game for. Just real revolution. <laughs> Thieves anniversary. <laughs> so it's on the on the level. Oh, Andy. <laughs> Sure, yeah. But you made you made a very it's good point. Come straight back to me. Yeah, no, but you made you made a very good point there, Andy. That's why I'm welcome back to you. Speaker, oh, <laughs> Children will study it. Uh, <laughs> you're doing your anniversary with a module. <laughs> yeah. So, like you said, it's sort of season nine sort of revitalised the sandbox. Now, other seasons we've like say season eight, we added all those new features for combat, like ship combat, the PvP like, era, PvP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And obviously, that's amazing when you get the chance to do that. But why do you think it is important to shake up the sandbox every now and then to do an update like season nine? It's just, I guess for me, that is the heart of what makes our game so special and so different. That kind of unique multiplayer experience that you can have in that shared sandbox together. So we've done kind of all these major systemic changes to Sea of Thieves recently. Things like Captain Sea, mm -hmm. um, things like uh, PvP on demand with, um, with season eight. But it's nice to kind of go back to the heart of adventure and and breathe new life into it and and see that um you know that positive reception to it because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things obviously in the game that sometimes people might not even be aware of things like you know chess of fortune what well, chess of fortune sorry the reaper's chess with the beacons and stuff like that and i think shining a light on them in season nine was really important what do you think shelly yeah and i think as andy said what we set out to do with season nine was to take that kind of broad look at the sandbox and kind of that quintessential sea of thieves feeling where doing something in the sandbox going after some treasure and other players rocking up and never quite knowing how mm. they're going to interact and what's going to happen and we looked at, at season nine from that kind of perspective of how do we kind of recapture some of that in a world where things have changed, like the balance has changed, um, people have got more gold now, there are different crew sizes. We've got all this stuff and we've spent so long adding things into the game. But um, if you weren't there at the time, you may not necessarily know what those things are. And we were yeah. aware that there are new players coming in all the time. Not everybody's journey is, you know, five years long. Like some people are, are new every season or, or a year ago or two years ago. And so being able to bring those things to the surface for everybody so that everybody can just enjoy what is there um, and have that experience has been great. Yeah. And the, the player reaction to season nine, Christina, do you want to talk a bit about that? I can, yeah. Mm, no, yeah. so absolutely. I think certainly from I think from a season I think it was season two season five season mm. nine perspective we've we've always added kind of these the quality of life things as well as kind of more significant things like Chester Fortune and the community response is amazing because as, as you've said we see these kind of pinch points revitalized so everyone sees a fault cloud and heads towards it again I think while I was playing just anecdotally 
there was always a fort of fortune that people were fighting over. There was always a, <clears throat> a fort of the damned up as well, because with the skull of destiny, people were able to just get to that on demand. So you could just load into a server and be like, where am I going next? Look to the sky for inspiration. So that's <laughs> that sounds quite noble. Oh. <laughs> E.T. Um, <laughs> but it's true. It no, is what you do. It is, and it gives, you know, certain, certainly since season nine, we've seen people just head into sessions like so buzzed to be like, right, what am I going after next? And <clears throat> that's, to, that's across the spectrum as well. That's kind of like the typical experience, but our solo sleepers have found it a lot more achievable to go chase world events, which is fantastic. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really know how powerful that change that set of balancing changes could be actually like we always kind of intend it to be you know solo sloopers can go out into the sea of thieves and any opportunity on the horizon is something that they can go and engage with but i think the kind of huge impact that it's had on everyone else's sessions as yep. well that aren't in sloops because everyone's kind of congregating to these world events and there's more loot on the seas. It's just kind of benefited all ship classes, not just the, the sloop players as well, which is great. We always said that like season nine was going to be more than the sum of its parts. And one of those kind of like a little twist of magic seasons where it's a bunch of different things and it's no one individual thing. It's just how they all come together yeah. and just revitalizing that sandbox. It was, it's been just amazing. Like when we jumped on and immediately mm. you can just feel the difference. Like you mm. say, you go to a Fort of Fortune and there are like three other ships yeah. and then <laughs> on, on your halfway back to the outpost there's another one and you've just got all this action going on it's mm. it's been really cool i noticed that you have actually been playing quite a lot like on twitter <laughs> you've been posting a lot of clips um so uh, grind uh, yeah the grind, the grind. <laughs> getting to what are you at now like on what well what <laughs> which, which on, on what, what, what on, on what specifically well, what faction have you d actually got to 100 on then Oh, so yeah, so we've been playing a ton of uh, PvP. Yeah, um, yeah. I've been fighting for the servants of the flame. Uh -huh. um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, actually, I'm 175 now. Oh my I'm God. going for that 200 bone colour. You, really... you did that all legit, yeah. Yeah, we can't. You can't pay your way to to winning in this. Uh, so yeah, you can. All legit. <clears throat> you can. I, you I can. Customer services. Can. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, I'll just be level yourself. 200. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It is. No, it's been. Um, kind of got a little bit addicted to it. If I'm yeah. being completely honest with you. Um, like took a little bit of learning to kind of get used to kind of PvP at that kind of competitive level. But the more and more we kind of played it, the more and more um, confident you get with it. Uh, the less emotionally charged it is, <laughs> the more you kind of play it. And, um, but yeah, I got like really kind of addicted to it um, and started pushing for that curse over, I can't remember what community event it was, but there was like a double allegiance thing. It was the not, week, wasn't not it? This it was one, the run-up event where yeah. was, there was a... And I was trying to power in through bits of it during that and then kind of kept pushing on beyond that. But mainly PvP, but then when season nine... Uh, dropped. We played a lot of the kind of world events as well, and yeah. kind of interchanged. You'd, you'd kind of do do a battle and then s come out win the battle, of course. <laughs> and then you'd see like there's a fort fortune on the horizon. You'd be like, shall we go and do that? But then yeah. like, oh, but we might get invaded. Shall we? Yeah, let's go for it anyway. And <laughs> yeah. just all these things interacting together. It's been really fun. Yeah, it's been great. I'm nearly there. 84 out of 100. I'll get my skeleton. Well. I'll get my skeleton. Yeah. A few couple of weeks like ago. Like 75. Or, 84. No, 84 already as well. So shit. You were 16 like two weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. yeah much better than three. I have like one. <laughs> <laughs> Stop to play. I was just capturing footage for the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but honestly, I was, I was going to say, it's like, it's really satisfying, I think, that as developers of this, right, that you get to, like, you go and assess all of the moving pieces and you go and make a bunch of changes and then when you go into the game mm. and it just, the whole, like, just dynamic feel of that world mm. is so, so different mm. and, like, just Sea of Thieves as an experience like that is so unique, mm. I think. It is. Where just the, the, like, what people do and what they choose to do and how that impacts everyone else and how it impacts it, like, just yeah. how it makes the whole experience feel. Like, it's, like, it's, it's just, just... a bunch of moving parts and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's yeah. all just, you're kind of, like you say, like, shaking or poking the sandbox <laughs> and then you're just kind of seeing how it plays out and how yeah. it settles down yeah. and it's just, like, that's... It's, it's, it's weird. I was talking, talking to Shelley about it over the weekend, but, like, often when we speak about Sea of Thieves and we talk about, you know, its purpose, what we were trying to do with it, on like a creative standpoint and then how we talk about it over the years season nine feels like the embodiment of that if you know what i mean like when you're playing it you're like ah this this feels like truly like what we were trying to build and that's yeah. like really gratifying as well yeah. i think and it's taken all of those updates <coughs> all those additional systems all those changes all those learnings all those ways of thinking about like how we bring solo players into the experience all of that mm. to get to this point yeah absolutely. it's like a 
I'll put evolution. Yeah. Evolution era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is nice to take the time to actually sit back, isn't it? it? Is. And go, yeah. right, yeah. right, let's just look at what we have. <laughs> yeah. And and it's like, how do we change this and how do we use all the ingredients we've got and maybe add a couple more in? I like I love the kind of the chest of fortune and what that brings mm. in yeah. terms of that kind of real kind of driver and focus for people in this, but then yeah. mm. everything else just kind of goes into the um into the mix. It's great. I, I love seeing the stories. I've seen the screenshots of people like hiding on, you know, on a fort or something, there's five ships in yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like all just chaos. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So. Awesome. You mentioned there, Joe, about being able to sit back and look back and reflect on things. Now that's something oh, that's, that's good, something good else that we've that. we've done since the last podcast. We have <laughs> <It's> such a <laughs> professional. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, looked back on the the journey of Sea of Thieves from the, from the yeah. very beginning, mm-hmm. with uh, and we released Voyage of a Lifetime, our Dude. our documentary uh, about how Sea of Thieves documentary was made. Era. The, do- the documentary <laughs> era. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and if you haven't seen that, that's on our, our YouTube channel. You can watch it for free. Um, I advise going to watch it because you'll see some incredible footage that you've never seen before from the early days of Sea of Thieves play tests and videos that we made and never were released publicly. So, yeah, there's some good stuff in there. But if we're thinking about that journey from from the inception of the game. The inception era. The inception era, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, like, it's, it's stopped being funny a while ago. Yeah, <laughs> not to us. Not to me. <laughs> if we're if we are thinking about if we're talking about that look back, like, is there anything specific that you think was like key to the genesis of this? Like that feel that we're talking about when we're now in season nine. That's that. This is the sea of thieves almost that we all all imagined. Is there something about what we did in the early days that sort of really was the you can trace it back? It was, it was the pure focus on that players creating stories together thing mm. right of like and you can see it in every single mechanic like from the the musical instruments right and how that works it's like no it's got to be stuff that you do together and stuff that kind of adds to each other and creates social kind of fun and harmony and like the drinking like all of those little micro mechanics how the the ship steers but then always having the the frequency of encountering other ships and how how often you want that to happen mm. like all of those things were all completely like in pursuit of that right it was about what's the right balance what sort of thing but <clears throat> yeah so from how a crew behaved and all the mechanics there to how then the world behaved and, and interacted with other crews it was like that was the thing that we focused on so soon and so, just grasped onto so strongly didn't it, it was like i, I know it was just yeah. like a really clear and strong heart or core to sea of thieves yeah. that it kind of like transcends any individual feature or any individual thing it's just the heart of players creating stories together exactly as you say in that kind of interesting sandbox with the with the um pirate fantasy all wrapped around it. And I think it doesn't matter what we've done since then. Something I'm really proud of of us as a team because the team's grown like wildly, but we've never lost that core. Everything we do still feels Sea of Thieves. It still has a Sea of Thieves lens on it. It's still done in that way. And that's why I think you have that integrity of experience that you can play five years of updates later and it still feels like exactly what we set out to do yeah. in the beginning and it's it is interesting because i was looking back at like the, the whole journey and stuff when we were doing interviews with with folks and it's kind of so it's the game experience but then it's also how we dis, how we wanted to bring it to market mm-hmm. right and which was we wanted to be open and transparent we wanted to get it into people's hands early we wanted to start listening getting player feedback um and you know, so it was all about the players. It was all about community. It was all about kind of how are they going to play this and how is it going to work? And so you can trace that through pretty much every decision we made, right? Yeah. And like even the initial E3 build, like we took out the blunderbuss because we didn't want it to be too combat focused. We wanted, like, and, and we'd worked really hard to get the blunderbuss working. I remember it was like two weeks before, right? And <laughs> yeah. we were just, we put it into the build and it was like, this makes the balance all wrong because it's ship combat, it's personal combat and no one's using the instruments, no one's drinking. And it was like, let's take that out for now while we're in this early stage, make it so that it's fun and silly as much as yeah. it is about the battling. But then to the inviting the community to the studio was because, well, this game's all about players. It's all about their stories. It's all about us wanting to show them off. And so let's mm-hmm. just, like, let's, like, it's all about the community. It's all about building with people early. So it was like, it makes total sense to go do that. And, you know, to everyone within the Xbox organization that's like, what's your trailer for E3? And we're like, well, it's, we're just going to invite people in three weeks beforehand, <laughs> like, record them playing and make a great trailer. It's fine. And everyone's just like, you're mad. <laughs> like, and... 
Um, but we were like, no, it's good. There's going to be a great story. We don't know what it is yet, <laughs> but we're going to we're going to capture one. And but it it made so much sense to us. And I think that con- conviction yeah. and focus on what the game was and why we were doing stuff, like led to us making all those decisions, right? Yeah. And um, but you can trace it through every single kind of decision, yeah. like all, honestly, all the way through the, the the starting of a video team and recording the development of the of the team right at the start of the project because it was like we want to capture stuff, we want to talk, we want to be open. We know this is going to be an interesting story. We don't quite know how yet on how we're going to use it but we just want to capture it and yeah. that's where that sort of that's where the video team came from right and yeah. um so yeah like it, and it's why we have a good community team and why we have like a you know customer service and everything else but yeah. it's like it all came from that 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 purity i think of the vision and the sort of being really clear why we were doing what we were doing mm. right. yeah i think is it joe joe's piece that he did for xbox wire joe scrabbles really yes. kind of like crystallizes that it's a really good read i recommend you go find it on xbox wire <laughs> <laughs> but it's talk it's about how sea of thieves has never been diluted it's actually become the game it always felt like it was going to be um and it's a testament like you say to the amount of teams of new people we've onboarded like it's retained its dna um and you have people who haven't played for like years and you're like oh like you see them log on and tweet and be like, oh my God, I had such an amazing time on Sea of Thieves. It's come on so much, but yet feels the same. You know, like mm. the pads in the hand, it feels comfortable and familiar yet new at the same time. Mm. And that's just a, such a really nice thing because it, means it makes it immediately accessible for those people who've maybe left and they are thinking about coming back. And you, can, you can just, again, jump straight into the server, see a few yeah. be- beacons or clouds and be like, I know what I'm doing, chasing what's on the horizon. That's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm curious, um, with that idea that, you know, it still feels at its core like the Sea of Thieves from beginning to end. Like, <clears throat> as obviously, the, and you see this in documentary talk about the team starting very small and then getting much bigger and more people coming on to work on it. As designers, as lead designers, I'm curious what how you guys feel like in terms of maintaining that purity of vision as you deal with bigger teams, as you deal with features that maybe were beyond what you imagined in prototypes, stuff like that. I am mm. um, like, do you find that challenging? Like. Uh, at, at times, it, it, I guess the team's grown so big, but I think there's so much there in place in Sea of Thieves now that when you join the team and learn and understand the game that mm. we've built, we're building more stuff in the same vein as that yeah. and kind of expanding it beyond, um, that it's kind of become easier over the years to kind of branch out more. And I think it was an eventuality at, yeah. like as well, I think. We were very busy in the kind of early days of it. And then we've had to kind of separate on the team and kind of own different areas of the game and kind of build the team up. But like what what's kind of we talk about the game evolving and remaining the same, but like everyone that's joined the team has added like yeah. so much kind of value to the game and truly understand the heart of what makes the game the game. And that's kind of as satisfying to me in a way when you see other developers on the team talking in such a way that's like so honest to what Sea of Thieves needs to be in the future. Um, I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah, I think I I would agree that it's definitely gotten easier as the game has progressed because I think there was definitely a time where Sea of Thieves was kind of hard to explain and hard to like necessarily get for for everybody. Um, And so I think the more the more we've built and the more people can kind of clearly see what Sea of Thieves is, it's Mm -hmm. kind of kind of easier. But I think We've just, um, from that initial, having that strong core vision and that strong core heart, we also had kind of a strong core team that almost became kind of um, vision holders or like, <laughs> or, you know, just just people who could go into those wider teams and, and, and instill those values and those principles <clears throat> of what makes Sea of Thieves Sea of Thieves. Mm. And then it is amazing when you see people who are newer to the team take that on and have kind of their interpretation of that and their creative understanding of that. And it's like, you've got it. Like that is Sea of Thieves. Mm, You know, when someone says something to you that you hadn't thought of that's so Sea of Thieves, (laughs) there's nothing more satisfying Mm. than that. Well, it's, you can see it like the retrospectives that we hold on team, right? So we do, you know, team-wide retrospectives and we used to do them in the, the first few years of building Sea of Thieves and it was always, we were all like, look, this is about process, it's about how we're working and then two-thirds of the, the questions and feedback or like, when are we adding this or what's this or I don't understand this and we'd be like, all right, I guess we're going to have to focus the retro on this as opposed to less about process and we did one like a couple of months ago and it was literally all just about team and process mm-hmm. and sort of sustainability and, and all of that kind of stuff but it was like there wasn't any questions about what's the game, right? <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. 
but that but that is the point right it's like yeah. you get it now and it's like yeah. It's, yeah. it's out there it's built it's it's like established but and i think even leading up to launch beyond that it was only like post launch that i think everyone is like 100 percent comfortable okay we've landed it now like maybe anniversary probably mm. was yeah. like the first time but it was like fully <laughs> okay like we're good right, everyone, <laughs> everyone gets it now right? and, but it is kind of that right because it's like yeah. it's so different and like i say yeah. like i was saying earlier there's nothing like it that mm. you go out into a, yeah. just a world and there's all this stuff happening and you don't know what's going to happen and there's yeah people doing this people doing that how your experience is going to be affected and like it's such a unique just gameplay experience that it's yeah we spend a, a, to... a lot of time in those early days just trying to express what that vision yeah. was and kind of like try and bring people on that journey of like where we knew it could go. Um, well, well, that was one of the, the beauties of the prototype as well. I remember yeah. when I started, that was one of the first things I did was yeah. went down and played the prototype yeah. with Ryan and uh, John McFarlane. Mm -hmm. um, and you go, all oh, right, okay. Get it now. Get yeah. It now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was part yeah. of the interview process in those early days. Yeah. Yeah. It? it was like, we get people in and play, was, play it part of the interview yeah. process. And, yeah. and like, see, do they get it? right? <laughs> like, yeah. and they, or, are they, or are they just like going, trying to go down a different route and go, yeah. oh, it should be this. So it's like, um, yeah. are you going to be a fit? <laughs> like, but, but it is, it's like, can you get it? Can you open Open your mind to mm. what it could be and yeah. where it's going and stuff. So, um, yeah. Awesome. Um, one of the other things that's happened since as part of the fifth anniversary was our fifth anniversary community weekend. Yes. No, that happened. Also, that happened as well. Day. Stonks Day. <laughs> stonks day. <laughs> no, like Shelley was messaging me. We're like, it's going to be Stonks Day. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Christina, I need the deep, the inside details. <laughs> What's what going on here? Is Stonks Day, and when will the multipliers be expected? <laughs> She was like, when do we think we're going to hit grade five? Because I need, I need stonks. And I was like, I can help you out here. Um, no, it was fantastic. It was one of the busiest kind of weekends on the seas for quite some time, which is fantastic. And um, I think it was really satisfying to see some of the new stuff we'd introduced being like really heavily engaged with. Mm -hmm. So our School of Destiny voyage that we handed out to people who were playing yeah. over the weekend, there were over 80,000 Fort of the Dams completed over that 48 hour period, God. which is stonks day. Stonks. Stonks. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Stonks, stonks for the weekend, in fact. <laughs> you did a couple of those were us. Well, well, well done. Yeah. Did you get robbed or you managed to sell and No, I managed to go. I think we yeah, yeah, right. yeah. we had some good battles around there yeah. as well. I got I got, offended. I got properly like ganked and I was like, <laughs> 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 I'm nearly like, do you know who I am, Card? <laughs> but didn't, didn't pull it at the end. I was just like, okay, never mind. <laughs> like, just, Lowered, just, lowered the rare sound and just, yeah. Yeah. just <laughs> you sleep. <laughs> um, leave. <laughs> the other stuff like the, the photo wall, um, our yeah. amazing yeah. services team, shout out to our services team, um, built a heat map that we could see if there was like footfall. Like we, if we do something new, we want to know if it's used. And it was like, people really cared about yeah. that spot. It was one of the hottest spots on, on New Golden Sands for, for that particular period. So really cool. I think we want to expand on like what, what else we could do with that sort of tech. Um, and then also just look at like the platforms we use for community days and weekends because mm. obviously we've been running them just on Twitter. Um, for a year then we tried multi-platform this time round, and it was amazing it meant that lots of people could make their contributions in lots of different ways it's like well what does what does it look like if we do it on this platform or this platform so that's kind of what we're exploring so we've got constantly like new flavours or new um, elements and it doesn't get too repetitive it's something slightly new a new way to engage every single time um, obviously just wanted to address that we did have a couple of issues with Allegiance on the Saturday super frustrating but this was a new element to the kind of community day loadout where we didn't necessarily, we, we weren't, it's not always scaled the allegiance with the MSU grade. So we thought it was working and then it didn't work perfectly on the Saturday. It took us a few hours to correct it. So apologies to anyone who was affected, but we managed to sort it out in a few hours, which is Shelley. <laughs> Shelley, <laughs> Shelley. <laughs> That's what you told me. You told me the stocks there. <laughs> yeah. where, where, where are my stocks? <laughs> yeah. My stocks are missing. Um, but we managed to sort out. And I think when we when we look at things like Community Day, as, as they sort of scale in kind of their scope and their impact, like our live ops capabilities need to you know scale yeah. alongside. But the great news is like everyone who wanted to play over that weekend could log mm. in. And it was just a few kind of a blipper of a few hours for, for Allegiance. But hope, hopefully everyone... Judging by the telemetry, everyone on the Saturday had a so, sorry Sunday had a super smooth experience, which is when it was the full multiplayer. It was great fun the whole so. weekend. I, I love the vibe of the community yeah. days and the, the first community uh, weekend. Uh, um, I just think seeing how positive where people are sharing their photo walls on socials or just sharing details of their sessions and the whole kind of like, you know, we're nearly at grade five, like mm. together. It just feels very Sea of Thieves and mm. very kind of positive and yeah. social. Yeah. yeah. 
like so I just remembered like because I was in Budapest for that weekend yes. right, on holiday and um I was just away for the weekend and so on the Monday I was at the airport waiting to come back and I just I just sort of sat down with my drink and my sandwich waiting for like check-in to open and then I just noticed someone just look do it, do it, sort of standing in front of me like looking at the the boards or whatever and I just saw the like the glint on his <laughs> on his jacket and he had like the Sea of Thieves skull on and I was yeah. like I was like, excuse me, is that the Sea of Thieves? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, and I was like, do you play? He's like, oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. And, um, and I chatted to him. He's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm, I'm away for the weekend, but I've been logging in on my phone so I can get the community day flag sort of thing. And, like, and I was just like, blown That's away. Cool. Just like That's a total, really cool. Yeah, but it was just seeing that little thing. And he's like, oh, I've been playing since the start. And yeah, and just the fact that like they were so engaged with the community day, even though he was away with his wife, he was just like, no, I've still logged in. I still that. <laughs> and, um, but it was just, again, that kind of, just one of those cool little moments where you're like, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah like this, like, mm. just that yeah. where. where yeah you know, the numbers and the kind the of the scale kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It crosses over. So it was lovely to meet and have a bit of a chat with them just ran randomly. Yeah, key, key thing is, did he know who you were, Joe? So I don't think so, no. Um, oh, I can't remember. Never mind. I know, I can't remember. <laughs> but, um, really wasn't part of the Joni era. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but just sorry, I just wanted to call back as well. Actually, to so the documentary. Oh yeah, I wanted to yeah, say. Yes. But, but first of all, I'd love to hear everyone's perspectives on that because obviously you've mm. all been here at different parts. But first of all, I want to say thank you to your work on it, John. Oh no, yeah, you did an incredible work. You're with, very welcome. Amazing. Along with the, the team at Disc Two, is it? Disc yeah. Two, yes. Yeah. So who who did an amazing job? But incredible. Team. But but you yeah. you managed and ran that and like. Put your heart and soul into it. Pull up with us all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throughout. <laughs> yeah, but this was out and, and obviously my, my little bits of feedback <laughs> and, and, and stuff. But no, I, honestly, I think you did a tremendous job with it. And um, like kudos to, to, yeah, to, to, oh. to bringing that together. Well, done, oh, thank you. That was thank great. You. No, no, it was really nice to see. I want a poster, you know, the poster with like your name as like executive producer. John oh, on the little block, yeah. I want, yeah. I want that for you. Oh, for me, I, I want it for you. <laughs> I want it for you. I also want it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, also thank you for the formatting as well, because you just like, you're like, all the formats, you want it for a cinema? Yeah. Not a problem. Um, yeah, that was the first time God, creating a, a file for the cinema. And that was awesome getting to that see it in the cinema as well. That was crazy. Was... Yeah, the the kind of throwback. I know we talked about this a bit, but like when we started and we were a tiny little team and we rented out the uh, a, a really small the electric screen. cinema. The electric, yeah, yeah, I went to see The Goonies, but it was a surprise. No one knew what we were going to see. Oh, really? Um, yeah. And, um, <laughs> no, I know, I know. I, I organise it if I can. <laughs> and, Joe, <laughs> um, and Joe kind of stood up in front of everybody and said, and we all had these like little piratey cocktails and things, and Joe said, you know, this is... Uh, a film about a group of friends going on an adventure together, which is just like the game we're making, but also us as a yeah. team. Uh, and then like the Goonies be, came on. And be danger and challenges. Yeah, yeah, all of that. <laughs> Get through it by yeah, having each other's back. It was so, just, yeah, was a... and to think <laughs> you couldn't have thought then Flashes that some, the whiteboard like... <laughs> that was an era. Uh, whiteboard the whiteboard era. era. Um, yeah. <laughs> but to think like whatever that would have been, you know, eight and a half, maybe years later, that we'd be in like a full on big cinema screen, our faces big on the screen, which is weird. <laughs> you don't really get over that. Um, 50 foot and, and talk, yeah, it's weird. And, talk, and talking about this journey that we'd had in such a positive way and like everything that we've been able to mm. do. Yeah, it's kind of mad. It doesn't really I think it's not really still sunk in, but there was just a nice echo there, mm -hmm. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's some amazing moments in that documentary, and I'm so <laughs> glad we got to finally reveal to the world that lovely black and white uh, video with you helming <laughs> at the at the table. Oh my god, taking amazing! Pictures. It's it's one of the best Still. videos we've ever made. Like. <laughs> 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 People keep asking about whether we'll release the full version of that. Or of the or what of that video? No, I don't think we can. No, we can't release that one. But um, no, it's got some in jokes which yeah. wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't, mm. wouldn't go down. Well I know the ones. <laughs> I was I know, to keep a little behind the scenes in a bit though. I was. Um, I do remember going to film that and you said to me, mm. like I was trying to get it, like, yeah. get it, get the character. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. No, but I was like doing the yeah. first few takes and stuff, and you you just went. Just channel Palpatine, yeah. like Palpatine <laughs> vibes, and I was like, I get it. Now. I, get it. I can yeah. do that. You were brilliant. Yeah, you were like, so honestly, good in it. It was like, such a good nah, performance. Yeah. It's it amazing. Brilliant. Like I just like yeah, because I remember when I first saw it, I was like, wow. It's like, <laughs> like, because it's especially amazing. like you think about the early yeah, days I'm when. <laughs> You think about the early days when John and I were going around with cameras. It's like not everyone was comfortable on no. camera either, and like 
that is what was so impressive about that is that you were screaming and shouting and just playing it so cool. Like yeah. genuinely, I was. What would Palpatine do? Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just going um, for it. Yeah. But, but there are other videos in there that I don't know if we can. But what's that? But there's a lot well, of glimpses of them, like the, the old um, cinematic one. Yeah, the CG one CG is in channel. there. I saw a few folk asking for that. It's like, like that one. I'm less bothered mm. about. I'd have to go back and watch it again. Yeah. But, um, but it's, it's an like, interesting. It was an interesting sort of glimpse because I, I think um, the, Ryan did a talk about it one time. Yeah. Uh, where he it was as much it. about improving out the art style. Yeah, exactly. Sort of, like, yeah. Kind of, it was as much about that as about anything else, really. Like, because mm. um, yeah, I think we were always convicted that it had to be gameplay when yeah, we yeah, first yeah. revealed this. It was like, like you said in the, the documentary, right? it's like it's all about gameplay. Like, mm -hmm. like say that that kind of it's that's honest. It's authentic. It kind of. Um, yeah, it earns the respect of people, and mm. that was what we wanted. That's how we wanted to show up, right? So. And I wasn't, a, I didn't work here at the time, and I remember seeing that trailer. And I was like, "Well," <laughs> and then you got the lightning flash. I'm like, "How did they do that?" Oh, well, that was uh, the lightning flash was 2017. But that, oh, it's a different trailer. Yeah, different but, trailer. Yeah, that, that trailer was amazing. But you just, you just like, you just With you, the rolling like storm. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you say yeah, it immediately yeah. wins respect because as a <laughs> who works in games, you're like, "That's gameplay." That mm. yeah, that's, yeah, doing yeah. it for real. That's yeah. Yeah. outstanding because mm. you can do anything with CG, but when, when you're like. Gameplay, like <laughs> actually, that's it, yeah. that's my experience. Yes, please sign me up. So it breaks my mind a little bit that it was like April 2014 was kind of when we started the prototype, sort of March April, and then we we had like the pitch in November that year, so yeah. 2014, and then we were E3 2015 in Unreal with yeah. that with that trailer, <laughs> like like it like about feel 15 months. No, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> to, to go from like nothing to 15 months later, we've built this out in Unreal. Yeah. We've done the art diorama. Yeah. We've kind of built this. We've got so much of the core was there within that first six months as well. Wasn't yeah, there? yeah, in the, prototype, in the prototype, but then to get it into yeah. Unreal, yeah. In that, the visuals, yeah. like the audio, yeah. like. You know, it, yes, it was kind of just ships and running around, but it was still like that was in the Unreal. That was a real yeah. thing. Like, and yeah. you know, there were a couple of debug controls, but like, <laughs> but, but, but generally, yeah. 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 But it's the but, same when we yeah. talk about that first year, and like we were talking about it, and it was like, did we? Did, we? Mm -hmm. did all of that in like yeah. year one up to anniversary? Oh, God, it's yeah. just like yeah. it's just, you, you kind of forget. Mm -hmm. And I think the the really nice thing about the documentary and the anniversary era um, <laughs> is that is as a whole is that like we momentum wise and kind of like a bullet train we've just continued with mm. sea of thieves like we launched and we just carried on and um and i think we don't really <laughs> we're, we're always really really focused on what we're doing next and mm. growing and like plans for the future and that's that's what takes up our focus having the time to kind of sit and look back properly over an extended like multiple weeks and events while we're doing these anniversary yeah. things it's it's really cool because we don't i don't think we've really done that i don't no. know if everyone else feels that way i just i just love how much of the journey the documentary covers like mm -hmm. you get to see like these insights into all these different kind of challenges that we went through together as a team but i guess for me like to going back to your question a little bit ago joe but like the showcasing stuff from the prototype is the best part of that yeah. for me because that's just that was such an exciting era of like game development for for. I was just unironically. <laughs> <laughs> the best bit is it was unironic. So that's yeah. great. Okay, yeah. let's, let's just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> it was such an exciting time yeah. for as as a team um, building that together. Like, um, like every kind of facet of it really. It's just like small small team like you know, strong vision and then just a group of best friends working together yeah. to try and figure this stuff out and then getting all these kind of exciting things working. And I think showing all of that stuff in the documentary was just amazing because yeah. you get to see so early on in the game's uh, development process um, and all those little kind of anecdotes and stories that we had in there. If anything, I wish selfishly that was slightly longer in yeah. the documentary because i've got like so much stuff like on my <laughs> personal computer of all, of all of that sort of stuff and it could literally be like a five-hour documentary oh, yeah. just talking about the prototype oh, there's, kind there's of process, have to share but... it though isn't it because it's something that only a small group of people have a oh. window it, into or an experience yeah. of to be able to share that wider it felt like like deeply satisfying that it finally happened that documentary mm. in a weird way because it kind of felt like that time uh in the way we we're looking at the kind of documentary like i mean the uh prototype rather that is anyone ever going to see this stuff yeah. and like and it was so kind of special and so interesting on a game development level like anyone that's into video games just like how that worked how it came together um so i'm, I'm, I'm glad that it it got shown yes um, 
it's the first time as well that any of us had done that. Right. Like, so for me, it was the first project I'd kind of been in that position on mm. and had that opportunity to do, mm. which is like, go figure out what you're going to do. Right. Yeah. And for us, so yeah. kind of how we set out to build it, how we set yeah. out to make the team spirit and culture and yeah. like, and, and that kind of, that just that focus and that energy and that drive and stuff that mm. we kind of, that we had as a team was just like, like nothing else that yeah. I think any of us had ever it's experienced. It's indescribable, like, really. Yeah. And like, yeah. I'm glad the documentary was able to capture some of that spirit. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, just like I love the bit where it's like, meanwhile, at rare, and they're just flying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was like, that was exactly it. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> the you just coming to the bar and like, duck a drone and be like, what's going on? <laughs> and it's just like, yeah. Yeah, if we yeah. can't have a real parrot, that will be the best, the best that we'll get. Yeah, so, <laughs> awesome, mate. So. It was so exciting as well because it was just so unknown. Like we're just mm. building these things out every day and things just start to take shape. But we talked about like the vision being strong and it, and it absolutely was, but that uncovered itself in yeah. terms of like how it came to fruition as part of that process. And that was as exciting as building it, if you know what I mean. It was just like, yeah. wow, like that's cool. I'm kind of latch onto that, like build more of that and then feed that into our plans for like, you know, the next set of features. on the And, and stuff, just so. as Joe said, like the fact that it was all new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> None of us had done that before the studio hadn't built a game like that before we'd not built something yeah. with the community we'd not like everything about it was like having just this kind of um just this like blank page in front of us to go mm. and draw the map ourselves yeah. um, <laughs> use a piratey phrase but it but it was it was very very exciting on that because you didn't really know any of what was going to happen like in any way yeah. like any of but it if, just in so instinctively it was like we we've found the right way to do it and I think even the kind of let's just try it in the build came mm. from like when we were debating stuff it was like yeah. it was quicker to try it let's stop arguing just yeah. like let's go try yeah. it if you feel strongly yeah. about this prove it like, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. like, exactly. like yeah. firing out yeah, of cannons yeah. was the best example really well, early yeah. on yeah. There, there was yeah. almost like a fearlessness to it and like it, that it try fun. that because you could just try it and, and then just see whether it was right or not and there were so many kind of discussions where we were just sat next to each other almost like because we didn't write like proper <laughs> documentation or anything. <laughs> yeah. It was all just like... Slow us down. Five, yeah. It was like five or six bullet points for how something's going to work. And we'd be getting together and we'd be going like, okay, how the cannon's going to work. Because we didn't do the cannons at the start, did we? No, we did. Uh, we did like all the ship stuff. Yeah. How you kind of... Because we were like, ship combat just we, will, it be will be great. Be like, yeah. So let's not but do that. There so was a, the other stuff's great There was first. a ton of stuff to work out there yeah. as well. And when we got to the cannons... Like I said before, we'd been through all those kind of different processes. Certain things had worked, certain things hadn't worked. And we started creating this formula for what makes Sea of Thieves Sea of Thieves, if yeah. you know what I mean. So when I got to the cannons, it's like, okay, how are these going to work? Yeah, okay, yeah, you dock to them, you hold a button to load them. Probably should have a timer on that so you, we can balance out like the fire rates and stuff. And it's like, what key fire rates? like, what about everything? <laughs> <laughs> then, I remember that, and we're like, yeah, everything. Okay, yeah, so and then we were listing anything, everything. We're like, hands. chicken, <laughs> like, like treasure <laughs> items, this, this, this. And then we got to players. And then, Andy, like, and then Andy said, players. Yeah. You should, you should be able, and, I, and I was like, players? And then we just like, yeah. <laughs> We really, can we really do that? <laughs> <laughs> but you just kind of followed that It's just thing. like, that is and Sea of Thieves. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that is But then right. you went like, okay, if you fire something out of it, what happens? And then it was like, the chicken, it cooks it. Like, do you know what I mean? And we'd, you'd <laughs> yeah, just go yeah. layers and layers deeper and deeper and deeper with it. Yeah. Like, and it's the same with the ship repair stuff. I remember us having a similar conversation. It's like, how's this going to work functionally to like repair the ship? And it's like, well, we could have like consumable wooden planks to like, do this and I'm like how are we going to do the water and then when we, we do you remember when we're going oh we should fill up like like real water would because like everything just worked how you would expect it to in real life so yeah. you naturally just went to well it just fills up with water and then you got a book in you you throw the book out and we're like I remember having the same thing where you're sort of like looking around and you're going can we do that <laughs> Is that gonna work? Uh, going, at some point is someone going to yeah. say to us come on now yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then you're just like Nah, Chris will do it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like, we'll give it Chris. And then like, uh, but then like you had like the water filling up dynamically with water and then uh, you got the bucket. It's just oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, it's but that so is good. kind of like an ambition, like in a fearlessness of that, of like not having limitations on ourselves mm -hmm. for how we wanted something to work. It's like, Let's, if we want it yeah. to work like that, let's try and make it work like that, and we'll figure out how we make it work. Prove for the need for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Prove the need. The prove need. that there yeah. is a, that that cost exactly. is worth kind of incurring. But right. if you didn't have that, yeah. like more fearless kind of approach to it, imagine what it could have been like. Imagine what yeah. sailing the ship could have been like. Oh, right triggers uh -huh. go, left yeah, triggers yeah. break. Or yeah. imagine 
Pressing that you hit the, the ship the like five <laughs> times and it just sinks. And yeah. it's got a health yeah, yeah, bar yeah. above it. Like yeah. it, it's so dynamic now, which is probably why I got addicted to the PvP stuff. <laughs> like at season eight, but like, it's so interesting dynamic. The roles are kind of interchanging. Um, there's so much kind of room for for skill. Um, but at its core, it's so simple. It's mm. just, here's a bucket. So relatable. There's Throw a hole. What do I do? There's a hole. Put some wood over. Yeah, but that's here's the, a wheel. Yeah. Turn it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's so, I, remember, sorry, so I remember those early days at E3 when we had the first playable, when people yeah. would play it. And like, I think it was the IGN crew were playing. And... <laughs> And they were just trying to bail out. And then one of them just kept, like, we'd pick it up and then just throw it back in. Yeah, and, yeah. And, that, and we're just like, what are you doing? Yeah. It's like, yeah. throw it out the ship. And he's like, what, really? <laughs> <laughs> but it was that moment of realisation where it was like, oh, of course that's how it would work. Yeah. Yeah. so used to games yeah, not yeah. working yeah, like games, that. Games <laughs> yeah. yeah, game advice. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. you're just filling it back up, mate. And I he's love like, that Sea of Thieves <laughs> works like that. And I love that it has that kind of call to real life and those simple kind of actions and that everything just bled out from that kind of approach. Yeah. I think that's that's part of why tangibly it feels so fun to play. It's true. We're just we're all still in love with the core of what it yeah. is. Well, yeah. that's one of the things I was going to call out there. Like in the documentary, I love that you call that early process finding the fun, mm. and it's like you see that in those play tests as well. You just like it's just like. Even though you're doing something, you're going, we're going to test this today. We're going to see if this works. Ha ah, ha ha! You're all sitting <laughs> and laughing. And it's like, yeah, that works. Yeah. Like, yeah. Tick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was that though. It's like. It's kind of like what Joe said. You, you could be in these meetings and going like, oh, how are we going to get players back to the ship? And, and you'd just be like, like craning, that was thinking, like yeah. just get like headaches upon headaches, just like <laughs> mentally trying to overcome these kind of design problems. And then eventually you just start going, right, let's just trial stuff, let's trial stuff. But that finding the fun thing was all a, a deep collaboration between every discipline it yeah, wasn't yeah. just design it was engineers coming up with like really really cool ideas and just yeah. sticking them in and then they'd go oh check this out and he'd be like that's amazing we've got to do it like do you yeah, know what i mean yeah. and then that would change your designs and you go okay all right well let's follow that because that's like a cool pathway like the sail ropes and stuff i remember like someone getting that working where it's like ra raising yeah, them up yeah. and it's like oh man that's so cool like we've got it we've got yeah, to do that team, yeah, yeah it's, like it's brilliant stuff yeah, yeah yeah it's amazing yeah. it's so good yeah so Andy, you have chosen to sit in the usual chair of mm. Mr. Mike Chapman. Um, and I think that means it yeah, yeah. falls to you for a, for a I'm CTs. I'm great at these. Right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what? If, is there anything that you're working on now? Like a, a small thing that you could just... A, a, little, a little micro tease? Is that you what? haven't got a tell. Something we might be having a meeting thing, about in an yeah. hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. There you go. Yeah. There's many things. Cute. There are many things. There's many that things that we're, <laughs> that we're working on. I guess, yeah, the three of us have been talking about some stuff for how we could... <laughs> some um, stuff. It's such a great tease. Oh, <laughs> some stuff. Some stuff. Some stuff. Some stuff. How some we could... Uh, <laughs> 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 well, it's supposed to be a tease, right? So, um, <laughs> um, just like how we could build off of the success of the... <laughs> you can't really dig it in <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for this. Um, how we could build off that kind of community day that we did last. Um, oh, wow. How we could extend that out to other areas of the game and, oh, and wow. put in some more kind of regularity uh, to that and some... I think there's some cool stuff around there. I don't know how, how detailed well, you want to go about that Well, stuff. that's interesting. It does kind of make sense. <laughs> I was actually going to ask you, Christina. Now, that community weekend was your first weekend. Usually it's yes. a community day, a 24-hour period. Um, and... Uh, this time it was a weekend. Like, how did that change things? Like, so we didn't know how it was going to change mm. things. Of course, <laughs> initially we're like, it, it makes sense. It's anniversary. Let's supersize it. Yeah, yeah. And actually, in terms of like what we saw, we thought from an engagement profile perspective, that first day would be big, and then the, sec the second day might not be as big. Turns out they were both just really big, <laughs> and that does mean you know we go back to the drawing board and consider well, what if they weren't just days? What if we did extend them as a as a kind of a regular feature? Because we saw a lot of people be like, I wouldn't normally be able to carve space out in 24 hours but give me 48 and I can and yeah. it's more yeah. flexible for people isn't it? that's it and the momentum that actually we carried into that second day it was just more good vibes and actually if you were logging in on that second day it's you huge. were the Sunday was huge for the numbers that's as well, it. Wasn't it and it was two and a half you know you log in on that day with the confidence that that multiplier is at its top yeah. level you're like 
today is stonks day. <laughs> um, so we, we're just going to, obviously we don't want to like break the economy or anything and make sure we, 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 we treat, everything, you know, treat everything fairly. Shelly's <laughs> like, like a, Shelly's like a multi right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll leave that to the Tories. Shelly's <laughs> 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 just like, yeah. like three million. Like, yeah. I think I earn four and a half million. We're not going to pay, we're not going to pay the economy. I'm dark in the trap. four million. <laughs> but um, you know, we're like, well, what, what does that mean for community days? Do we do we make them weekends all the time? Um, obviously, there's a there's a kind of staffing perspective we also need to incorporate to that. Like, if we've got big things going on from a live ops perspective, yeah. we need more people giving it attention. So, really, it's it's not just a decision from a kind of event design perspective. It's it incorporates everybody because we want yeah. these to run really well, smoothly, and make sure everyone's equipped to to go do it. But it's a question we ask, similar with different platforms. Like, does it change the vibe slightly if we go do something over here? The answer is yes, because we did the multi-platform. We had our multi-platform efforts. There are behaviors that we noticed from players that we didn't, we weren't listening to hashtag use on TikTok because we don't have a piece of software that can do that yet. <laughs> yeah, you look at the hashtag, the event hashtag on TikTok and it was like stonks to, to <laughs> use a term. And we're like, okay, what do we, what can we go do over there that, you know, celebrates all of our players and all the content that they're generating for us and, mm. and you know, all the cool moments and, and screenshots that they're sharing. So it's going to evolve. <laughs> That's the most exciting thing as well from a, you know, when we were sitting down this this like last year in January, we hadn't run our first event. We didn't know if people were going to care about them. They do, and we only want to make them bigger and better. And again, like I say, give them a slightly different flavor every time, so the the world feels different. Like the skull of Destiny Voyage was a great example of that. Of yeah. How we saw behaviors go index in a certain place. Like, well, what else do we want? That's great. Like people go fight over there, but like, what what can we do to expand on that? And we do have a few ideas, a few irons in the fire, a few items being developed. CFTs. 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 That's how you do it, Andy. You go, you go. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. <laughs> <laughs> um, that we can't wait to hopefully premiere with a community <coughs> event, but then also it can live on for other different types because this, this tech is su built to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. um, make sure we can use it again and again and as I say, use it in slightly different ways, slightly different flavours and the story service that we developed for our adventures is yeah. kind of the birthing spot for things like the photo wall, changing the spawn rate of ancient skeletons, like to be able to have that button where you can change things dynamically. Yeah. Like, give me more buttons. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and that is what we're doing. We're planning more buttons. And that is planning more buttons. Very fun. Planning more buttons. CFTs. Great. More buttons. Um, so the community obviously had a great time over that weekend. <clears throat> Do the community have any questions for this group here? Uh. A few. A few? Right. A few I know we can't answer, so I'm not... Oh, right, right, okay, right. cool. They're the difficult ones that I think we will probably answer at a certain point in future. Oh, they must be spicy. They're slightly more structured. Um, but the big one, I it's think worked. we've... We've alluded to a mystery too. Oh, why? So, what Joe, I'm mystery? looking at you. What is the next plan with the next mystery? <laughs> the beauty of it is a mystery, isn't it? Um, it's very mysterious. But it would be no. very mysterious if Joe just told us the whole thing. <clears throat> no. Yeah. no, that's true. No, that is true. So I won't do that. Yeah. Um, but there are some... A little bit, I'll give you a little bit of a tease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Uh, like we're we're working through some legal ramifications potentially of like of how the mystery is gonna gonna roll out and be engaged with. So yeah, so we've had to we've had to write a new legal playbook for this one. Oh my stakes God. are high. It's yeah, the stakes. stakes are high. <laughs> stakes are high. Stocks yeah. available. Dream nine years ago when you started writing <laughs> <laughs> a new legal, legal playbook. playbook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so no, but it's like it's just it's something that like it's very fun. It's very kind of very sea of thieves. Mm. Mm. This, um, uh, but uh, yeah, and something that we've kind of you know well in in the realms of stuff we've wanted to do for a while. Um, uh, and but yeah, we've got we've got some fun stuff coming out with a bit of bit of in bit of out bit of in game bit of out of a game stuff. Yeah. But yeah, but it does require some uh, some yes yeah, a, a firm eye from our legal representatives, <laughs> <laughs> a keen eye to make sure that we're not doing anything that would. Uh, nice. And it's and it's uh, quite different. To the, yeah, very different to the last one. Yeah, to the last very, one. Very very different. Yeah. We're not killing anyone this time. That's not that's legal. No, stuff. like that. <laughs> they, that is, they, that's a big that legal play, but yeah. In the, first, yeah. <laughs> in the first legal thing, they were like, no, you can't do that. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. Always give the Lucas even an easy thing to scrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they, well, they, they, they miss the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, no, we won't. We're not going to be killing. Confirm, we're not going to be killing anyone. Not going to be killing anyone. Confirmed. Yeah. Confirmed, yeah. Like. So that was a. <laughs> C of T's plus confirmation. Yeah, Great. There you go, yeah. <laughs> nice.
Um, it wouldn't be like if we just did it again, wouldn't it? No, nah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, every need to, you need to go to a different page. On the well, well, that's the kind of cool thing. <laughs> yeah, a different page yeah. of the playbook. Um, <laughs> that's the kind of cool thing about the mysteries, isn't it? In the sense that there are a little opportunity anything. to. Yeah, it's to a do mystery. We want. Exactly. Say. Go a bit wilder. Yeah. Mystery yeah. era. <laughs> 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 that is indeed, yeah. Um, well, I think we're we're just about at time. Unless you have any other questions from the community that you think you can ask us, Christina. If they're too spicy, just just leave you know them what? be. They won't be too hot for us to handle in this particular environment. Yeah. But again, I don't want to say we're not we're not answering difficult questions. These are questions that I think they're going to be answered more formally in the months to come. If um, a, a member of the community wanted to ask a question, how would they do so? Um, they would send a letter into Shelley <laughs> personally to the rest. But I only accept it if it's been written with a quill. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yep. On a parchment, mm -hmm. sent in a message in a bottle, washed up on the shores of Twycross. <laughs> <laughs> or, and I will or. answer all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Full detail. Not even the CATs, I'll just confirm everything. <laughs> I'll answer the questions that way. <laughs> or, or you could use hashtag SOT podcast <laughs> um, on any social channel now. As I said, we've expanded our capabilities to be able to kind of search and listen for stuff on all platforms right it's probably a lot less of a time sink for you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but oh, not that i wouldn't love to see with your quill like here we go uh, but um yeah any questions send them in we will but we will answer them if we if we can we've just um it just reminded me as a, as a child I used to like you know those little ink cartridges oh yeah, yeah. I used to like bite the end of them yeah. 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 I don't know why why yeah. I don't know. I you just, just always have a blue tongue as a child because yeah, like <laughs> of that like at primary school <laughs> 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 Do you just give me a real flashback something that I'd forgotten all about? You got your shirt and it's like all over your shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah with your tiny with tie. tie. <laughs> <laughs> tiny tie. So yeah, if you do have any questions, use hashtag Sot Podcast. Sot Podcast on all of those different social media channels and Christina and our team will find them and we won't guarantee <laughs> to answer them, but like Quite we'll, we'll at least look at them. <laughs> <laughs> like. What's that? We're listening. We're listening. Ah yes, yeah, yeah. We are listening. Yeah, yeah. Um, no one else is to this though now. No, no, no they, they gave up ages ago. Like, they got to the third year of joking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hell That's is a bit that? about tiny ties, and they were like, like, "I'm gone, I'm gone." Um, but yeah, well, thank you everyone for <laughs> for your time today. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to spend an hour with you all, and thank you for listening or watching. Uh, if you were watching on YouTube, I, they're never going to ask us back to this tolerating. <laughs> So tolerating, tolerating, yeah. So. Um, and yeah, if you want to see other Sea of Thieves channels, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel um, because, you know, and ring that little ship's bell for all the notifications as well. Do that too. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. And we'll see you on the next one, whenever that may be. <laughs> Goodbye now, everyone. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you just saw and want to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news, then hit subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.